Hi guys, me Dimension Bows, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this booster pack. So it's not that complicated, it was a pretty simple design. This is actually a photocopy, the template, I don't know where it is, but there is a template for it. I can go grab it, hold on a second. Yeah, so here's the template for it, here's the basic design, so yeah, so I'm just going to show you step by step what you are supposed to do. So the first thing you want to do is get this like the, one of the cards for your card game, I have Robo Guard, and you want to use it as a mold. So here's this blank sheet of paper. So what you want to do first is you want to put it on here, and you should trace it. So when you trace it, you want to make it about half a centimeter bigger than it is. So I have this small ruler here that I usually use, and this pencil. So I'm going to put it like this, and I'll do it like a centimeter, an inch bigger. So I'll make it like that. And then, like, that. Yeah, so that's what you want to do. And then you can also put one right here. Like so. And right here. It doesn't have to be exactly, like, correct, but it should be fairly close. And then you can just round the corners like that. And like that. There we go. And yeah, so after you have this, what you want to do first is you should trace it. So if you look right here, it is about almost the exact size. I made this one a little bit bigger. See, okay, so after you can take this out and you can just fill in the lines so you can trace it like that. And then like that. And then like that. And there you go. Okay, so you have that right there, and you want to add about an inch or so for the little flat part right here that you will have. So you can add an extra inch on, add an extra inch. There we go. And yeah, I kind of messed up. Hold on a second. So let me just connect these lines, okay? So this little thing right here is kind of interfering, so I'm going to move it. Hold on a second. Okay, so it's easier to draw now, so let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to continue where I left off. It should be easier now to see and for me to draw on this. So what I'm going to do next is you should add a flap on the back that is the exact same size. So you measure this, and this is measured at 7 inches. So you want to draw a line out here for 7 inches. And then another one on this side like so. And then you want to do the exact same thing at the top. So, wait, that's ah, not straight. Another 7 inches. Or 7 centimeters, sorry, centimeters. And another 7 centimeters. And then you can just draw a line that goes all the way down. And then another line that goes all the way down. Oh, wait, no, I messed up, sorry. You want... Oh, no, 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 that's, that's good, that's good, that's good. No, we're fine. Okay, so after you do this... What you want to do next, let me just readjust the camera so you can see it better. Let me just bring it down. Oh, dang it, shoot, sorry. Okay, so hopefully this looks better now. So what you want to do next is can finish drawing these lines outwards. So let me do another centimeter right there, centimeter right there, and like that. And there we go. And then you can just trace it from here all the way outward and from here to there and just continue drawing your lines so it makes one long flap that you can use on your cards so after you have this what you want to do is you just want to cut it out so you can grab your scissors right here and then you can just cut along here very straight like so. I usually cut it out first, and then I start drawing on it. That is just me and the way I do it. I don't cut it exactly straight. I don't know why. I usually just use scissors like this. And then I'll just start fixing it. Like so. Not a perfect process, but it works, you know. You could use a, a razor if you want to. or Not a razor, like one of those cutters. I don't remember what they're called. But it makes it very straight and accurate. Okay, let me just finish cutting straight across. 
There we go. And then cut again right here. And let's just throw this out of here. Yeah, so we're left with this. And what you can do is you can decorate the front with whatever you want. So here's how I decorated the front. Basically, I use this. It is a micron pen, point like five. I also have a one. This is five. This is one. The one's thinner for like smaller details, and this is for like the thicker details. So to draw the creatures. I use the one, and then for that I use the five. So you can just write something right here. This is a sample, so you can just write whatever you want. So I don't want to have to redraw this because this actually took me forty minutes to make, which was pretty difficult. So I'm just gonna. Just quickly draw something kind of similar. So I'm just going to write the B. Booster. Pack. Oh, I actually did that. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, that's okay. There you go. Booster pack. And then you can write with your smaller one if you have one. Five cards per pack. There you go. And of course, I... On the real one, I did this with pencil first, but I don't really want to do that because it takes a while, so I'm just going to instantly do it like this. So you can write the name of your card game. So I will just write Dimension Battle. So you can make your logo look fancier, but this is just the sample one, so yeah. And then you can draw some kind of creature here, whoever you want. So I'm just going to draw Robo Guard very quickly. There we go. He has a pretty basic shape. There we go. This is just like a rough sketch, by the way, guys. Sorry if it looks weird. There we go. So you can just draw your card in the front, like so, and whatever design he has, whatever you want to do, like so. And yeah, so you can just draw a huge bad guy there. Or whatever it is, you can put the name of the pack somewhere else, whatever you feel like doing. So after that, you can then trace this with your marker. So let me just go ahead and do that. I think I have a, yeah, here we go. A bigger ruler, so I can just do one long straight line. Right here. There we go. So, and I might have to trace this one again. There we go. Okay, so it's coming along pretty nicely. You don't have to trace these lines if you don't want to. I am not going to. Anyways, then after that, what you can do next, let me just cap this. There we go is you fold along the lines that you drew beforehand. One right there, like so. And then the other one along the other line. There we go. And you could just leave it like this and, and glue it right there so it's neatly folded. Or to make this flap like how I did it, what you have to do is you grab this, both sides, and you put them, you lift them up, here's the front, this is the back, and you put them together like this, and then you flatten it down to make the flap, like so, pretty simple. So what you can do next is now that you have this flap, you can glue it together, you can make it smaller by cutting it if you want to, but either way, after that, I'm just going to grab some glue. You could use glue dots, a glue stick, whatever you want to use to seal it. I'm just going to use this. These are just some glue dots, I guess. And you just use this, and you just roll it like this. Pretty handy. I'll usually glue it, but this is just if you want to do things quicker. And then to make it look nice and neat, you can trim this a little if you want to, to make it look smaller, but still pretty cool. There we go. Mm, this looks a little weird. Let 
There we go. That looks kind of no, that's not straight. Let me just trim this again. There we go. That looks better. Now I kind of just eyeball it usually. But there we go. So you have this little tab now that you can rip open. So you can rip the back of the pack. And on the back, I drew a creature there. And then my YouTube channel. And then you can write something like, where's my pen? Like, each pack contains and then you can write down what it contains and stuff like that. So whatever you want to put there, you can just be creative. And then after that, what I usually do is you can draw little lines here after you finish coloring it. So as you can see, I do lines there and there. So what I do is I just draw these little lines. I use a ruler and measure a centimeter, but I don't have a ruler right now and I don't have the time. So I'm just gonna go like this and just eyeball it. But basically, yeah, so you just draw these lines. So it looks like it's getting, like in professional packs have tiny little lines here. So it looks like it's getting pressed down kind of. I think that's the idea because that's how they seal it, the machines, and to, so to make it look realistic, I just draw these lines all over here. It looks pretty nice when you do this. It looks pretty realistic. There we go, they're on both sides now. And then you can go over here and draw more lines. You can draw one there, there, there. And you just keep on drawing them. So it looks like it's getting sealed, like so. And then you can, to make sure it's aligned, you can draw it like this. Make sure not to fill in the inside when you trace it. I accidentally made that mistake once a while ago. Like maybe, oh, that was two years ago, I think. I don't exactly remember when, but I think it was two years ago. I accidentally traced this all the way down, but you just have to trace it so it's in line with the bottom one. So like that. And then like that. There we go. Just tracing the line so they're all aligned there you go and then you can do the same on the back you can draw more lines I'm not gonna use the ruler I'm just gonna quickly draw them there we go all along here and there we go like so actually mark the desk, desk there anyways yeah so basically that is how you make a pack and then you can just so after you have this you can put the cards inside through the top or you could do it before you seal it I have a bunch of cards here that I am just gonna throw inside through the top as you can see they go in there they're kind of snug sometimes but they can fit right You should really put them in before you seal it. Sorry about that, but you can just slide them in there. And then after you put them in, you can seal off both the areas right here with more glue dots or glue. I only have glue dots right now, so I'm just going to go like this. Put a little there and a little there just to seal it. And then a little there and then a little there and there. And you can push that down. And there we go, so you have a sealed booster pack that looks pretty nice. Let me just move the camera back just a little bit. There we go, can I zoom out a little? No, that's it. But anyways, yeah, so that's the booster pack. You can fold it here and here so you can hang it up if you want to. And this folds back and forth. And if you look at the back, you have what it, each pack contains with. You have all the information there. And then you have this pretty nice pack. I actually did pretty good for rushing it. And then you can color it in so it looks awesome like that. And yeah, so after you make your pack, all you have to do then is you just grab this part here. You can either peel it open if you want to save it. Or you can rip this part right here. I am just going to rip this part right there. So then it peels open like that. Just like a regular pack does when like you get it at the store. If you know what I mean. And then you can look at the cards that you have. Oh, I have Robo Guard. I got the card at the front. Awesome. And then after that, you can just look at the rest. Cybernance Dragon. Wonky Glasses. 
the hunter and mutation these are just the cards i got from the top i showed these new cards in a video you can go check it out i'll probably have it in the corner and yeah so that's how you make these kinds of booster packs right here pretty nice hopefully you guys enjoy this video and i'm probably gonna do a how to make a homemade card game after this video and if you want to check it out and make sure you don't miss it then don't forget to subscribe and like the video and that's it for today's video bye guys